What's good my beautiful kings and queens, it's I Winnie Boy, it's your favourite British locked YouTuber. If you're an oldie, welcome back to this channel, thank you so much for the continuous support. If this is the first time that you're watching a video of mine, thank you so much for stopping by. But please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you're notified every single time that I upload, which tends to be once every week. Listen guys, I hope you are all doing amazingly well. I'm not gonna lie, this week, yeah, my energy has been on the flipping floor. It's been on the floor, I've been meaning to record a video all week. And you know what, yeah, I'm currently filming on my lunch break, I'm working from home still. And I said to myself, you know what, I'm gonna dull myself up, come on camera, film some content for you guys. Now as you can see by today's title, uh this train of thought or this topic was inspired by a conversation i was having with a beautiful queen via my instagram a couple of weeks ago and it was literally about how interesting is it how your body reacts to either people in your life or new people that have come into your life now i'm gonna start off by saying this some years ago i read this crazy story via twitter when i say years ago i'm thinking i think it was probably around maybe 2012 times and basically one guy had come online to say that one time he had been intimate with a girl and i think he said after being intimate with her he had fallen asleep or something but you know sometimes when you fall asleep you're kind of in and out of sleep so he must have been in and out of sleep and he just had it in his head that he could see this woman in particular that he had just been intimate with appearing to be chanting or doing something that basically seemed very weird however because he was in and out of sleep he wasn't quite sure if it was real if he was hallucinating or if it was a dream but in the story i'm not going to be able to find it honestly because this was years ago it's just something that stuck in my head in the story he basically went on to describe how after that night with that woman everything in his life went downhill now i remember i reading this story and i was thinking what in the world of nollywood is this for those of you that don't know what nollywood is nollywood is basically nigerian movies and most of the times well not most of the times but sometimes they have similar stories like that where somebody's done some juju or done some witchcraft to basically mess up someone's life however i'm here to tell you that shit is real it is really really real i've previously experienced that with an ex-partner actually only i didn't realize that this was the case until obviously after i'd come out of that situation so periods guys i tend to have my period once every month cool i met this guy we were dating and then obviously got into a relationship and stuff and literally as soon as we got into a relationship i went from having my period once a month to having it twice a month and i was completely losing my nut over it because i've never ever experienced such a thing obviously as a woman you oh as a woman who normally has her period once a month should i state because there are women that do have periods multiple times a month for whatever reason that may be i've always been somebody that's had it once a month i've never had it twice naturally i you know it may come a couple days earlier it may come a couple days later but it still doesn't change the fact it comes through once a month so you know i remember i was just thinking like what the hell and obviously like most of us millennials we have our period apps i have like three different period apps to keep track of things and I was looking at it and I was just thinking to myself, why is this happening twice a month? Not only that, but because it was happening twice a month, it was making me feel so exhausted, so drained and so tired. It was unreal. So this was happening, this was happening. And, you know, at one point I kind of told my mum about it. And my mum was like, oh, you know, sometimes these things happen. And I was like, but these things don't doesn't happen to me anyway long story cut short a couple months down the line me and this person broke up so we broke up at the start of that month that the same month that we broke up my periods went back to normal and i couldn't believe it 
I could not believe it. And I thought, I was thinking, because you know what, yeah, sometimes it's not everyday lock video. Sometimes, as a woman, there's so many things that I can be talking about, life experiences, blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe there's uh, people that may be younger than me that watch my videos and then going through something, they may want advice on something. And I am that person. I enjoy talking about these things. But honestly, that experience that I was thinking about the other day when I was having a conversation with this beautiful queen via my Instagram is scary. But it also highlights the fact of sometimes when new people again like i said it can even be people within our lives have a certain effect on us but because they've been in our lives for so long we're not aware but you tend to notice it mostly with new people so for the meantime i'm going to say when new people come into your life yeah check how your body responds especially women i know that the majority of my viewers are women yeah check how your body responds and not even just your body but just life in general if a new person comes into your life and maybe you're somebody that's tend you tend to be bubbly you tend to be jolly you tend to be happy you tend to be a positive thinker then all of a sudden this new person comes into your life and maybe you lot are dating or maybe you lot have just become intimate and you start to notice that you start to feel really low all the time or sometimes it's a case of you start dating somebody then all of a sudden shit just goes wrong like you you lose your job or maybe you're working in a role where you it involves you having to get new clients or whatever maybe you're a personal trainer and obviously that's very client based and you've now got intimate with somebody and all of a sudden you can't get new clients keep your eye open you need to have a think like yo what is going on how is it that i've gone from all of these positive and good things and good thoughts happening in my life to now all of a sudden i've met this new person and everything is going downhill and i know it sounds crazy well it sounds crazy to me saying it verbally but honestly it is so true i bet you there's going to be somebody that's watching this video and you've probably had experience in this where you met somebody and at the time you thought that person was good for you and sometimes it doesn't even need to be like a romantic partner it could even be a new friend it could be somebody that you've met in the workspace that you now hang out with often whatever it may be but as soon as that person has come into the picture you notice a pattern of negative things happening and i'm not talking about one of those things where oh it's just a coincidence that something has happened i'm talking about things yeah like the example that i've given to you in regards to me where it's like wait hold on like why why is my body responding this way with us women sometimes it might be you get a new partner and all of a sudden you have thrush all the time or you have bv all the time and you're thinking to yourself what the hell is happening like i rarely get bv or i've never got bv and then all of a sudden i'm with this new person and i'm getting it all the time what is going wrong that is probably a sign of your body or your spirit your body whatever you want to look at it as telling you that this person is no good for you when people come into your life or people that you have in your life they're meant to bring you peace and when i say bring you you're meant to feel peaceful within yourself firstly you're meant to feel happy within yourself but new people or people within your life are i'm gonna say they're meant to aid in your journey in a positive way they're meant to encourage you they're meant to motivate you they're meant to inspire you they're meant to listen they're meant to add some kind of value to your life if somebody comes into your life and you start seeing like yo everything is just going left uh like there's nothing that i'm doing different but everything is going left since this person that's entered my life you need to get rid of them you need to get rid of them because honestly that experience for me was just mad i was just like what and obviously at the time when i'm going through it i'm thinking to myself i haven't done anything different my diet hasn't changed like mm, what is it i mean i remember when i told my mom my mom was like oh you know we as women when we're getting older things change and i was like you're going on like i'm proper like old old i'm really not old so it really cannot <laughs> it really cannot be that guys you know sometimes our african parents be like 
But honestly, you need to keep your eye on that because listen, people don't like to believe in instincts, yeah? I believe in instincts because every single time I've gone against my instincts, yeah? It's bitten my behind somewhere down the line. And then, aside from instincts, how your body reacts, your mood, does you being around that person elevate you? Do you feel elevated? Do you feel happy? Do you feel motivated? Or when you're around that person or when that person is around you, whatever it may be, or maybe you seeing the person's name pop up on your phone, does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel anxious? You need to take all of these things on board and move accordingly, sis. I'm telling you, it's so crazy how life works. And this is why for me, yeah, obviously I recently did a video about uh, what I think is called what have your previous relationships taught you or whatever. Regardless of the fact that I'm not with anybody that I've previously dated, yeah, I will always be grateful for every single experience that I've had because every single experience that you have in life, yeah, let me tell you, the best thing about those experiences, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, is what you've learned. And what you've learned, yeah, my friend, you better take on board what you've learned so that you can move accordingly going forward. Because if you've known that in the past, hip, when I went to go and be with somebody that wasn't truly for me, this is how my body responded. And God forbid, if something like that happens again, you will remove your shoe and you will run out of that situation real quick. So my people, listen, shine your eye all. Meaning, open your eye, keep your third eye open, be alert, and don't ignore certain signs from your body. Don't ignore your feelings. Don't ignore your instincts. But yeah, until my next video, mwah, 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 take care, be good. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See ya.